Well, hello everybody. We are back. Episode 2. We're going to work on finishing the defenses up here and start working on our trade empire. For the time being though, I want to I want to get this uh it's done. Once I start doing the industry side of things, I don't have as many free laborers and this goes a lot quicker if you do it when you have a full roster. And we're not hurting for money. It'd be nice to have, but you know, whatever. I should have done it from there, and that's fine. I'm gonna cancel this one. Alright, we're gonna crank this up to times two. Looks like our food is doing well. We finally got this in a really good equilibrium where it's just killing the stragglers. Alright. Gonna inch this guy out just a little bit more. I, I want to just bait the outer edge of this farm. Right on, 480, 540. Yeah, we're making like almost 1500 meat. And then the smoker is smoking. Now, all right, we got raiders coming. I want to finish my thought process though. So the most effective place for the smokehouse in my experience seems to be right next to uh, where you're storing the firewood. Um, I used to like try putting my smokehouses next to the meat, but it seems they can carry more meat than they can carry firewood, so that's the deciding factor. I mean, I'm smoking 900 meat on one. That's actually like the best I've ever done, and the meat's super far away, but it's coming here, so. And we don't have to worry about the raiders too much right now, because it's just like, you know, one, two, or six. Um, and they're, they're getting mopped up. They don't stand a chance. They do seem to be coming from this direction. So. Come on. Come on. One more arrow. Yes. No survivors. Food to back up times two. That's my favorite thing. When there's no one that survives. Alright. Let's look at the village. Six came. None. None left. That's what I like to see. I'm just trying to pull the height from back here. Oh crap, I got a bear over here. That's not good. Oh man. <laughs> what is my luck like with this stuff? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind here. Alright. So I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna get a freaking tower up over here and I'll move it later. Um I gotta get gotta get one of these these hunters over here to kill this bear the bear will the bears are actually like a little bit smarter maybe um and that they okay they won't if they get hit they'll actually start running away now all right run all right that person's that person's uh oh my gosh that person almost did not make it boom all right victory is ours all right, cool. So we're gonna get that tower up to prevent bear attacks. And everybody's gonna be happy. Look at our worker situation here. All right, we gotta get that Fletcher back going. We got uh, three labors. What I love about the new patch is it tells you exactly how many labors you need. Eight. We need five more people to be in a good equilibrium and to be honest I, I want more people building so we're gonna try to attract a good pop good 12 people that should be enough for the laborers I'd be happy with that, that situation building does not have access to clean water build a well nearby you got a well it's over there people are so needy we need clean drinking water. Alright, I'll get him clean drinking water. Alright, and I'm gonna need to work on terraforming this area down correctly. We need clean drinking water. We don't like being attacked by bears. These people, so, so jaded.
All right. Got, I'm going a little ham here. I know that. But, uh... I just want to get this area situated so that I can build everything. Look how clean that is, though. Like... Alright, predators. I need to... Uh, I need to up... You can update... Your alarms. And your, your uh, warnings. Alright, that's not it. interface there it is settings interface yeah here I can um villager died of old age I don't care about that um it doesn't tell me anything her to become sickly and yeah, they're always doing that livestock killed in combat don't need to know that bird has no food uh eh, I might want that one Raiders yeah crops lost no because I can see that so I don't need the, them telling me that Building is abandoned. Building's been destroyed. Low item tools. Don't care about that. Care about the food. Taxes collected. Don't need to know that. Like, I already know what my tax situation is. I'll bet. Yeah, I want that. Villager killed by predator. Want to know that. Villager died from exposure. Kind of want to know that. Villager dies from wounds. Don't need to know that. Don't need to know that one. Um, villager needs tools. Don't need to know that one. Villager disease cure, don't need to know that. Like, we have we have warning signs and things we can read for that. Or just become unhealthy, don't care. Villager graduated? I actually don't need to know that one either. Um, don't care. Don't care about livestock stuff. Raising area depleted? That one could be useful. Raid finish? I like that one. Crop field ready? I do like that one. Building attacked? I actually do like this one. Because it tells me if, like, bears are around. A low item like those villager needs housing i don't need that that warning because it's pretty obvious if a villager needs housing no storage for gold um don't need that one either so yeah i'm gonna get rid of all of those and that's going to reduce uh, tr tremendously the amount of annoying pop-ups i get okay now that we've eliminated a good handful of distractions Let's, uh, let's focus, let's focus here on the, on the meat train. I think everything's in good shape. We're expanding the crop field. Getting the defenses up. Okay. Alright. Let's move this house over here. And like I said, I want a space between all these houses so that they can uh, get decorations in between them. All right, the predator sighting is a little bit annoying. But, all right, cool. So we got, our farm is working perfectly. Hold in just enough meat. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Everybody's happy. Legitimately, I might even want to get a fourth uh, hunter's cabin up here just to make sure that everything's going to speed. We might need a couple more passes here. I'm going to pause the game. Probably going to get rid of that predator sighting thing. Because it is absolutely driving me bonkers. We're going to do all of these three times. Doing all... Oh my god. I shouldn't have done that. I did. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow it to happen. That should do it. Actually just gonna do the whole thing in one line like that. 
some weird reason. I don't know why I want to do that. Get it all even. Cool. Well, yeah, we need more builders. But this is why I don't want to go too heavy into industry right now. I really want to get my terraforming done first. That's kind of like the strategy that I do is I get to a point where I'm building up key resources. And then I get my defenses kind of set up first. I get like, if I'm planning a base, like I'm going to get all the wood walls up and stuff. Because the more people I have, the harder the, the raiders are. And then the less uh, building I can do because I have so many people involved in industry. I, like even right now, my uh, populations are very stretched. All right, and this this is pretty much going to be self-sustained with this amount of wood. I think we're good. All right, and we can afford this one tower. We definitely need it. All right, one day. One day I'll have a nice little hut over here, but looks like I got like a little hobbit hole thing going on now. All right, I think what I should probably do too is start um, lowering this, and I'm gonna not gonna lower it the old way. I'm gonna lower it like this first. We should make it so that raiders can't go up on this this side. All right, what I'm gonna probably do is move this right here. I'm gonna keep terraforming, but I'm gonna have the defensive structure up at least. That's what's great about this being the way it is. So, realistically, just need to shave this down. I'm going to need to be smart about this. Probably do it one tile at a time. Make sure I get the maximum amount of, of shrinking. I want to shrink this down as much as I possibly can. I have a lot to pull from. If you look this way, it's going downhill. So this is great. That's why I was pulling from the shortest part of my area like this. Yeah, that was probably bad. What I just did there, but... I'm just going to... Crisscross all this over here. Yeah, every time I get more people, I'm just gonna have them become builders so I can get this done faster. Here we go. Now we can just we can just do this. It should work. I'm just trying to lower this stuff a little bit so that it doesn't uh, roll into it all. Actually, I'm going to st stop these guys because I'm making it worse. This is fine right here. The idea is that I'm going to have this terraforming come all the way to here. And then I'm going to have this tower up here watching over the entrance. And it's going to have a really good defensive modifier. If I can, I guess I could technically keep it going.
I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep it going though. It's it's always losing elevation, so. Remember, we're just raising one tile at a time here. Alright, we got enough going on there. Lots of rocks. Lots of meat. Let's look at our workers. Alright, cool. We got we need to kind of like increase our food. And realistically, I also need to be looking at since I have food. Getting more people in here. All right, I think now what I need to do is a couple more times at this, maybe. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We're getting close, though. close eventually we'll have that all flat there and we'll be in good shape I'm gonna get this all flat again before I expand it Yeah, they terraform so much faster with this method. It's great. Alright. So that's the real issue right here is that kind of need... I'm going to pause real quick. Kind of need it from this point on to be level. The road, I want to level with the road and level with the buildings around it. I think this will finally do it. And then we'll be complete in life. It's cool though, look how we look how we did that. That's what we're gonna do over here. Alright, we got a trader. And he has nothing. Um, we're gonna start prepping for some early industry with things that aren't gonna take workers. I'm gonna get my apiaries up. This is gonna bring in the bears, so... Whoops. And I just try to make sure that they're not crossing. I don't really care too much about placement. I want them to be close enough that the farmers will get stuff from them, but... Uh, you get... If you try to, I, what I, I, so I, I planted a bunch of apiaries side by side, and you actually end up getting more wax per honey. You get, you get diminished returns, but you get a ton of wax. And since wax is a huge buildup in my build for alcohol, and I want more honey, I do actually kind of want to maximize uh, the efficiencies of these, just so that I get less wax. Um, however, I had about 1,500 wax, and it only took up half a storehouse, so that's not that bad. You could, if, if you wanted to, you could just make it so only one. Uh, warehouse can store wax and everything else can't and then I think it will just rot on the ground currently right now you can't set limits for how much of an item can be stored in a, in a storehouse only the limit that it can be um harvest harvested so you can do that too if you want um actually no you can't do it with the wax I take that back I just remembered I remembered I tried I tried Unless they pat, unless they patch it soon, um, you can't you can't set a limit on wax right now. So 
can you can with everything else, but not wax. It's kind of annoying. So yeah, you have to set artificial limits. And what I mean by, I'll show people. I sometimes talk and forget people are looking at this. If you go to your storehouse, I can literally uncheck wax and it won't store it. This is something I actually advise and haven't done because I forgot, is to uncheck meat from your market. That way it's only stocking smoked meat because you don't want them pulling meat and it just sitting there and spoiling in the market. Um, you want it, you want it cooking. So yeah, I forgot forgot to do that. I do that on all my markets. I uncheck meat. Okay, we are getting. Oh gosh, there is a bear. All right, everybody, get get in on this action. Let's show this bear what's up. All right, they want a new school. Why? You guys got you got a school. I am not building you a new school. All right, we got an influx of people. Huge influx of people. Boom. Finally. Build one house. It's in the wrong spot. Great. There we go. do it this way too it's a big old crisscross we'll get that all flat okay we need to flatten this all out again this is getting a little bit high we only need it to be high enough that they can't get over it so i might just be nitpicking right now Okay. Got houses on the menu. I think that's quite a bit of houses. And I was going to build a road right here. And these are going to be my only roads here. I think this one should definitely, should definitely have a road going that way. There we go. I don't know what I'm going to put back here, but I'm going to put something back there. Probably more houses and some gardens and decorations and stuff like that. Alright. Let's get this. Let's get this over with, right? Just trying to flatten this whole area down, basically. Said I do it in threes. I find that that just gets it perfectly flat. All right, cool. We got a bunch of people. I'm gonna bump up my workers. Okay, I got six farmers because they're about to they're about to finish that. So that will be a good thing to get done too. All right, my meat. Yeah, we're doing really well here. You can see though that that second one that finished raised it, so that's why it's important to make sure you're not to just bring it out, but then to re-level it before you keep going. Otherwise, you're gonna lose a lot of height. Yeah. Luckily, we have a lot of uh, wiggle room down here that we can pull from, so. Just keep terraforming this lower and lower. Boom. I feel like I still need to do a couple rounds here, though. Doesn't seem flat to me. 
Might even need to come back and get a little height from uh, this area. Alright, I think it's still the wolf. Yeah. I'll turn that off once I get this area set up down here. I don't have to worry about the bears. Alright, we're getting close. Yeah, when it, I need to work on upgrading the market too to get that tax, nice big old tax, up. And I'll get an extra worker in the market to help stock houses, so that's a good one. Alright, we got 80 people that we can pull into this place right now. That's... I don't like to go over 100 um, until I'm ready. What is going on here? That's kind of cool. Getting close. Probably bring in a little bit of lower terrain here. Keep lowering this whole area. Maximize the damage. Alright. So I got the perfect place for wells and decorations right here too steep. We're getting close. This is pretty cool. Cool little spot I got, though. getting impatient that's for sure just want to get this we're so close to having this little terraform wall done that's a huge amount of that's a huge amount of defenses i don't have to pay for with that though that's a whole corner i'm only gonna have one corner here and then one corner up there now There we go. Get a well in there now. Let's get this flat one more time and then we'll keep expanding it. We're getting close to being done with it, so.
Here we go. Just gotta get this flat and then it's done. Once that's flat, we'll do a couple of uh, fixer-upper things to it to make sure that the bands don't glitch into it. Which is actually why I gotta get this flat, too. stores seem to be doing pretty well. Alright, let's see what the traders got. Alright, he'll buy the coal. Let's see if this other guy will buy it for more, though. He won't. Alright, let's pause the game. A little bit of metal is always good to have. He doesn't have any anything. I'm, I'm looking for bricks and and clay. I want bricks to upgrade the market right now. We got 10 raiders, and it looks like I still have a bit of terraforming to do here. Um, probably need to terraform this way, to be honest. Got 10. 10 coming, huh? Alright. They're coming from the east. 10 is not a lot, and they're probably going to get wrecked, so. These are a uh, kind of tame band. It's starting to get up there, though. I do need to start getting better defenses. Otherwise, I could find myself in a bad situation real fast. The town center is pretty adequate, though. It does. It it kills people. That's why. You, that's why you want to keep the items they go for, which is the the market and your stockyard, or storehouse. Sorry, right next to your your main center, so it can kill people while they're running away with loot. That way, nobody gets away with any of your nice stuff. All right, that guy ran away because he was scared. And then I have so many hunters. It's like I have an army. So, yep, not not an issue. Wait till there's a hundred of them though, and they're burning down your whole city. Which happens. Alright, we're gonna pump, pump up the builders. Let's get this going. We're getting close. We're getting to a close point where they have no ability to get up this thing. I just need a sharper, sharper downturn. Alright, we killed all but one of them and they stole nothing. Alright, cool. So, we cut off the edge there so they can't walk up that. I want this whole thing flat because the way that 
I need to terraform is this way to make sure that they, they can't glitch, so. Alright, cool. I think I almost got it. Alright, this will be the last one, I think, right here. <laughs> I keep saying that. Hopefully, hopefully I'm right this time. I'm terraforming this long ways to make sure that there's no little holes they can glitch into. I'm going to bump it up to times three because we just have so much terraforming to do right now. So, it's starting to take a little bit longer than I thought. All right, let's see who I can shave down. Let's get this done with, right? Uh, I can shave the farmers down one, because I don't need that seventh dude for this. And, oh, we're doing good. Fertility. I'm just going to feed this one farm uh, any manure that I get, and pray to the fertility gods that things go well there for us in the future. Oh, gosh. Still, still not low enough. Okay. Might have to be patient and go one tile at a time, like I didn't want to do, but at least it'll get done. able to walk right up that perfect need, I need more Trying to lower this whole area more so I can bring it. Dang, that bear really wants to kill that guy. Where's the freaking hunters? Okay, this guy's... Alright, someone's going to have to sacrifice themselves for the greater good here. Alright. It was a sacrifice I was willing to have them make. Let's get this lower. Get this whole area lower. See, if I can get this area lower, then I can bring that lower up in here and everything just works out. Two by twos, that might work. working on this too. Do four this time. Seems like I'm gonna need a little bit more. Um maybe I can get this higher too. Taking the high points here.
Let's get this higher. There we go. We're getting real close now. We'll just do it one tile at a time and just get it right. Got a little bit metal. I'm not gonna be doing uh, the bear traps on this stuff though. Oh, nice. Getting people. I like it when we get people. That means I can I can put more people in the fields building. We gotta get this flat enough that so no one can walk up it. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. come from down here too to lower this area so use all the tools in my my chest here we're getting so close yeah this is these ones are really good's gonna do it for me Perfect. Let's lower this area one more time. Whatever. All right, cool. We got manure. Um, Alright, we got really nothing to trade. Do they have any play? No. Compost. Boom. 10%. Alright, cool. This area is really low. I should bring that. I should definitely bring that up here. Probably gonna want one of the wall pieces on the edge so that they can't run around it. This edge piece. So this will probably be where the edge edge hits right here. Yeah, I probably should have just done this from the beginning, just one tile at a time. I know I keep saying that. It really is faster. Otherwise you mess up like I just did.
so close. Alright, we're getting so close. <laughs> it's it's finally there. Uh oh. Can't have that. Alright, we got a bunch of raiders coming. Alright, and they're always coming from the same direction now, it seems. I'm gonna need to get my defenses a little beefed out. What's great is that I don't have anything for them to really attack. Unless this guy gets out. Yeah, so far, only a few of them appear to be armored, and you can tell by the damage they're taking. So, it's... Not, not too sizable of a threat yet. Once you get hot, like, as I advance through the tiers and I get higher pop, though, it gets ridiculously hard. Oh, we got one of them. Oh, yeah, we got the other one, too. Oh crap! Where did they? Where did that guy come from? He must have run around the edge. That that jerk ran right right there. All right, he's not gonna make it though. No survivors! Come on! Don't let him survive! Oh my gosh! Don't let that guy survive, please! That was disappointing. Alright, well back to back to digging, huh? Looks like I got it. But I'm gonna make sure I got it though. Yeah, it looks like they have to walk all the way around to get down here now. That's perfect. Alright, I think we're done down here. I think I'm going to leave it as is unless it starts glitching and then I'll have to fix it. But that's really easy to do. I think it's going to work out alright though. Perfect. Boom. Look at that.
that. We made it. Yeah, I don't think I could go any. This is like this is about. I took it to the, to the limit here. Oh god. I may not. I may have gone too far. You might be able to walk right up that. Which means I'm going to have to dip this like so. right up it right now so we we can fix this though the thing here though too is I need to make it so people can't get up here very easily I got bricks. I got bricks here. I need like 50 though. I don't have 50. I can transfer some gold. I'm gonna sell some of these pelts for sure. I need to buy baskets if I can too. Baskets would be a big help. Alright, we got enough. Let's buy as many as we can. 73. Boom. Perfect. Oh god, what happened here? So much terraforming that needs to be done. Wow, look at all those immigrants. I'm gonna take them too. I'll build houses for them right now. 12 people. It's like three houses. We can do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. put a house here for now and I'll move it when I get the next thing going. But there we go. Boom. That's a lot more tax money. Alright, so I should have a bunch of laborers now. 24. Get more people building. This situation looks good. Alright. 
We're getting there. Yeah, they might be able to get up on the ramparts from back here. That might just be the way it goes for, for a while, but as long as they can't get, as long as they have to get through all of this to get to that, I'm happy. The he heck are you guys doing? I don't like that. So these guys were glitching. They're trying. They were having a pathing that was allowing them to come this way. So I'm gonna clean this up right here. Prevent. Been any glitching. There we go. I'll clean it up. Isn't that nice? What are you doing? I don't like I don't like what you're doing over there. Better not be finding glitches. Better not be glitching, boy. <laughs> Alright. Now we'll do it this way. And everything will be right in the world. This is it. I'm done. They do break in and get up here, they'll have to get through another layer of walls. And that's just that's just gonna be an awesome little defensive structure right there. You can have little little plaza benches up here, I don't know. Who can watch the watch the raids? I think I'm actually going to do a, a full normal one. Get everything kind of nice and neat. Now nah, will be that will be it for this right here. nice it's clean There we go. We got ourselves a little wall and a little defensive entryway. That's a good uh, damage multiplier. 8 and 10. Not bad. Let's start getting this wall up, huh? Actually, scrap that for a second. I did not scrap that. All right. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I need to make sure that the farm doesn't need to go here. 40 percent. This is where it dies. So like right up to here, it's a good spot for farming. Yeah, I have plenty of farmland over here though, to be honest. 
and this all this is going to be removed and it's 14 by 19 that might work 13 workers oh is this go back enough Oh nice! I can uh, I can go back this way over here on the farm, and then down here I can do a seven. I think you can keep going, so I can I can make it all kinds of weird farm sizes, but hmm, is the farm is having a nice little fertility? Oh, I can have the farm outside the wall too. I can move my uh, tree farm. 12 by 6. Fertility of 14. So if I built a farm out here, it would have an environmental fertility factor of like 30. That's actually not that bad. This whole area. Versus like if I built it out in the barren, it'd have 7. So I can do a farm out here. Right here. Alright. I need at least 35. If I do it here, what's it? 28. So the difference between one tile is quite a bit. 33. Weird. So right here is the perfect place to... Uh... Let's do this. Let's do it. If I do a 12... I'm a 24 here. I'm a 29. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to move this. Five. All right, I'll move it over. I'll move the tree farm over here. That's not bad. All right, I'm gonna buy a couple of herbs, not mainly because I want them for upgrades. Start putting honey up for sale. All right, we need to we need to like really focus on on our economy now. So if I want to, I can I can build out these walls here just fine. So let's get let's get that going. I got a bunch of workers now, which is fantastic. Now we got twelve raiders coming in. All right. After we womp these raiders, I'm going to start um, getting getting the area all sorted out. Okay, they're coming from the northeast. As so, so, as I hoping that they would. They would come from the through the wolves, but they didn't. Most likely, what I'm going to do is actually section this area off, too. Um, pull, pull my pull my my stuff back into this corner back here, and uh, have just a bunch of croplands and towers and walls here. Oh, interesting. They're going for different targets this time. This guy's doing his job, though. He's keeping he's keeping the inner area safe. Yeah, we did well. Alright, so realistically, what I need to do is kind of figure out what I want to do here. If I were to do the 24 by 24 here, it'd have a 25 environmental. And if I go this direction, it has 40. So I actually don't even really want to use more than 12 by 12 here. 6 by 12. We'll have 30, 38. Okay. So, okay. Um, I think like right here is going to be the cutoff. Right here's gonna be the cutoff right here. And then I'm gonna have a wall here. I'll keep the hunters and everything up here in this corner. I might even move them up here. Um, and sideways farm. All right. Let us think. Hmm. See, this is where it gets tricky. We have 
enough room for a market here. I can fit lots of houses into this area, by the way. Village was raided. Killed everyone but one of them. Yeah, I can fit a lot of stuff into here. But I want at least two markets. I have a second market over here. But then I have no room for my industry. This is a predicament. Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of something a little, a little different from what I usually do. I think I'm gonna keep this whole area walled in with two 12 by 24 farms here. And then I'll have my, my industrial area right here, my farm here, second market there, and I'll have storage all between this area. That will give me a nice little um, efficiency between the industrial area, the people, and the people will be right here to come and work on the farms. Yeah, why not? Let's wall, let's wall our whole farm in. Um, we can still do stuff like this, I mean. I could, I could build more defenses, so. And because we're not having to defend a whole, like, half of our base's square footage, I mean, we, we could easily, easily place as many towers as we need to defend these uh, croplands. And the added benefit to that, too, is that I don't have to stop harvesting in the middle of my attacks. So, let's do that. That sounds fun. Cool. We're, we're all on the same page now. I think I'm gonna... So a 24 by... Yeah, 12 by 24 from down here. We'll have a, five, we'll have a 38. And then another one would we'll have here... We'll have a 36. And that's acceptable to me. The third and the third. And I think two of those... Two, I, realistically, I would want three of them. But, uh, holy cow. Oof, look at that five. Look how it goes. Isn't that crazy how it can go from 36 to just five by one time? Like 30, 40. Okay, this is weird. And now it's 19. All right, we'll just have to play it by ear. And to be honest, we, we, can, deal with, we can deal with whatever situation it gives us. Okay, now this is this is gonna be the tricky part, though. Thinking what I want to do is place my main tower in between some of the farming, and then place barns here, away from all the people, but have that as a defensive structure. Okay, I need to move my industrial area. Um, I'm gonna move it over here for now, since it's so small. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, um... We have wagons, so we can have our stockyards be, like, a, a good distance. Alright. Let us first terraform. Alright, we're out of money, apparently. Alright. Pump that up to three. We got a ton of workers. For some reason... Oh, because we're not shooting. Alright, how much coal is left here? Not a lot. Um, I'm gonna destroy this coal mine.
I'll organize the, the industrial area later. I'm just going to get everything settled over here. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. I just... I like it. Now that we got that situated, we can flatten the buildable areas. There's there's just too much of a dip in this whole area. I just need to get the terrain a little even. There we go. That's cool. Now I got the meat house and smokehouse right next to the stockyard and the firewood and and all the meat. So that's going to be really cool. I need to get um I don't know why I don't have a storehouse either. I should have built that a while ago. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I slipped my mind. Okay. All right. We're going to we're definitely going to need these crops. We're running low on food. Not exactly sure why, because we're pulling in 400 a pop here. Alright, let's get a storehouse up here. Right there. This road needs to be destroyed. This guy, I'm gonna relocate over here now. This dude out. the trader and we'll start getting the farms ready we're gonna have three of these they're gonna be six by they're gonna be twelves twelve by sixes well up here place it anywhere we want for now I'm gonna have the the farms going out way outwards so and I actually already screwed up I want a road between these. So. I don't think I need actually more than 
two of these. Because flour can s store for several years, so I don't have to have three of these. I could have two. I could have two. I could have one harvest even a year and be, be fine. Yeah, I want to put my trade post right next to my compost. That's super classy. Everyone will love coming here to trade. I think right here, since I'm building all this stuff up, I'm going to put a tower right there. I got plenty of money now, so I definitely should be towering up. Alright. So, my thought is I'll put... Alright, I need to move this dude back a bit. I'll have two barn. I'll have a barn or so right here, and they'll feed outside, or they'll feed on my crops. Whatever works. My God, can you flatten, please? All right, I'm just gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna hold off on using this compost. Um, I'm gonna be destroying this farm. Got crap. All right. All right. Nice. We got lots of laborers. We're doing good. It's gonna be really like this is gonna be it for defenses. It's just this area right here. So. I think I made a mistake. I need to rethink these farms. Realistically, a 12 by 24 right there would be good too. Okay. I'm gonna, I wanna redo this. I want, I want this to be open for defensive structures. Um, I think a, a barracks right here would be really good. There's like a barracks right here. And the raiders don't attack barns, so the barns don't need to be inside. So we could have like, I could have multiple layers on this base. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. The love of God, please. There, thank you. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna have to delete this. And I guess they're gonna remove that ability from the game, which really sucks. So, hope you guys like never being able to move your main town center, make cool bases. Um. Yeah, I hopefully they'll reconsider it. Enough of us have complained that that would be a terrible idea, so. Okay. Here we go. So this 12 by 6. This 12 by 6. Here we go. Got two of them.
Holy cow, and I don't have any of my stuff up. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right, let's get let's get this. This might be a bit. Oh gosh, and they're coming. They're coming for us. But they're coming right for all my hunters and my towers. So I think we can take them. Yeah, this is getting net. This is gonna get ruthless. We might lose a couple people, but it's all right. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, we, we killed enough of them that they just took off. That's hilarious. That wasn't even a challenge. All right, let's get this going. All right, so barracks here, and I'm gonna put the the main town center. Oh man! All right, so the okay right here. And the reason I'm gonna do that is so it can have its own little wall. Perfect. Wall there, wall around the town center. There we go. Look at that. And then I can put root cellars here for the farms. Perfect. Yeah, this will be really good. We're still gonna we're still gonna wall in the farms and stuff and have towers protecting it, but when they bust in through the farm area, they're gonna have to come in to this really tight area with more defenses, so it's gonna just be a layered base. And uh, I'm going to keep those guys permanently on, on the walls because we can finally afford it. We actually can afford quite a bit right now. And it looks like I don't have to move this guy after all. But I might actually have a small farm right here now i need it with like a little bit of fertility right here an eight by nine right here and i'm gonna grow clothing on this one I don't know why it says he's losing desirability when he's not. Must have been a money thing. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. We got lots of laborers. We got lots of builders. All right. Defenses are getting real nice. farms here. We'll have a couple barns right here. Only problem is the wolves right there. Uh, we'll figure something out. I can always I can always uh, inner wall a little area for them. I always put the cows over here too. Looks like this is pretty much self-sustaining right now. So... I might want to plant like a few trees. Maybe I'll plant a few just to make sure. I know it's costly, but you don't want to run out of wood. go. Now we got a little inner defensive area. Much, much cleaner. But yeah, we'll need to pack all this stuff in. I'll probably just leave probably Maneuver this these guys over here. Ah, 
How the heck are you guys out of water? Come on. Alright, let's upgrade you. Do it. Like I already screwed up here. <laughs> I thought I had the freaking wall pieces here. Sorry. Right. I'll just bump it out one more. Sorry, farm. We're gonna potentially starve half our population so that I can have my wall the way I want it. That's just the way it has to go. That's cool. That's really cool. We'll have a 41% uh, there. Twenty nine percent there, which isn't great, but uh, I mean, we'll be we're, we're getting all the fertile area, so that's just the way it is. I kind of have a road going here, but at least each one of them gets a little piece of it. So let's just let's just do a six by twelve for now. No six by twelve over here. Perfect. Now we're now we're on track. Oh, cool. And the coal's right there, so I could technically put the mine, like, right in here and have them go out and get it. Same here. I can have the mine on the other side. Oh, wow. I got 250 coal. Great. All that. Um, I should probably get another coal mine up. Alright. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work. He needs to get over there, so I'll put him here so he can... I guess. No, I don't want to put that there. I need to, um... I need to get the barracks up is what I need to do. Then get the coal mine up. If I place them right here, I think I can get both of these coal out of this one. Um, crap. The only problem with that is the huge desirability. Negative for these houses right here. Yeah, screw it. Let's just we'll just get coal from up here. We got plenty of coal. I don't need I don't need to get that coal. Not a big deal. I'm gonna start pre-gathering gold ore too. And I can sell it if I need to. I'm also going to start pre-gathering iron ore. Bump up the wagon guy to two. He's, yeah, he's already at two. Alright, six gold. Oh, 1,500. Let's buy a heavy tool. Let's buy some hammers. For our dudes. Um, I'm not going to buy rocks. I'm going to keep the rest of this money. Except I'm going to buy all this iron that I can. There we go. 30. And I'm going to upgrade my wells. The wells will give a desirability bonus too, so that's pretty cool. Whoops. Forgot to give him a gate. Created a prison on accident. Sorry, guys. All right. That's going to be a nice little defensive corner right there. This is going to be a slaughter. Anybody coming in.
All right, I'm gonna try to try to do something that may or may not work, which is planting maples. It, this used to work, and it, it works like maybe 50% of the time. You plant maples around a tree, it will increase the water sometimes. Don't ask me how. I'm just gonna try it. No harm, no foul. All right, let us get our mining on. Start accumulating a ton. Let's get our storage in check too. Let's get another. Let's get another storehouse. Oh my God! Please, there's no flat land up here or something. All right, we're going. We're going old school. I can't. Can't anymore. Let's do it. This is gonna be nice though. I'm really. I'm looking forward to this base. It's clean. Alright, well, at least the trees will look pretty, right? It's not gonna show, like, the terrain bonus here is nothing. Seasonal is nothing. Total bonus is nothing. So, um, we'll see if it works. There we go. Alright, got 92 people. I like that. That's a good amount of people. And we gotta be really quick about getting these farms up. Should have plenty of Plenty of laborers. All right, I'm going to focus on that. I think the meat will keep us alive. We're at a, a good equilibrium here. 240. Okay. We need to bait just a little bit of wolf. I'm going to have him come out just a little bit more. Oh, God, more people. And I want them. I want all of them. Um. Oh, my lordy. Okay, I gotta think here. Except, we can place houses here. There we go. That should do it. That's eight. All right, I need two more. All right. Um, there. I don't know if that will reach. Might find out. Gonna need another well. It'd be kind of weird to have a well up here, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I guess it's a, it fits. Yeah, we'll make it look nice up here. Let's uh put a, a, a little pretty plaza here. Plazas all the way to this area. There we go. I don't really need any more defense than this. Like, to be honest, I don't even need this tower. This tower is just added extra. Because I can only get through this area. And this barracks perfectly covers everything. It covers that tower if they happen to get up there. We'll put one guy in here. No, we're going to put two guys in here. Let's get real, right? Two dudes in there. Make it all pretty up here. Put some statues and stuff. Overlooking down. Everybody looks up and they'll see the cool statues watching them. I don't know. Oh my god, are you serious? More? Why are these immigrants coming? <laughs> I can't. I'm run I'm out of food. I can't. I got. I gotta turn him away. I can't. Can't. Um, we're just bringing in enough food to feed everybody right now. We're going in a winter. Okay. I gotta. I gotta take control of the situation here. 
Let's, uh, this is easy. Like, watch, watch what I'm about to do. This is super easy. Just, uh, bait a bunch of wolves. There we go. Oh, well, so, and someone died, so that's one less person I have to feed. Perfect. I got food, one less person to feed. No, I shouldn't have let that guy die. Um, but I did. And I don't feel bad about it. I, I'd do it again. I'd do it again if I, if, even if I didn't have to, I'd do it again. <laughs> Just joking. All right, cool. Yeah, look at that. We got stone wells. What's a shrub gonna cost me, huh? Five gold. Ooh, nice, it hits those houses. We could do gardens up here. Hit those houses, perfect. I'm liking the way this this is actually turning out because I got lots of room for more people. Um, I have my whole industrial area in this vicinity here. All right, we're gonna have to you you sir, you look like a brave man. Go ring the dinner bell. Oh God, run, run! We need food. There we go. Dinner is served. So that's what's great. Anytime I need food, I just sacrifice one of my civilians to the gods of wolves. And, uh, problem solved. Everyone has food. Alright, we gotta get these freaking farms back up. Yes, look at that. Look at those beautiful, those beautiful gardens. This is pretty cool, actually. Looking at everything from up here. There we go, look at that. We got food. What are you guys doing? You better be butchering meat. Gathering carcass. Alright, we, we pulled way too many again, so... I got four guys over here though, so like realistically. I'll start worrying when people die of starvation. Nice. We're gonna have compost to put right on these new crops. Alright, what you got for me? Nothing. Cool. They really do need to like fix this though. Like if there are four carcasses in my hunter, I should I shouldn't be going out and gathering carcasses. Alright, we got a ton of people coming. But we got the defenses now. They are no, no match for these defenses now. Yeah, this is pretty dope. I really like how the residential is super protected. There's only one way in with no defenses, and that's if they went all the way around and came in through the back. And I have a barracks now, so I can send troops out, so... My wolf, my wolf tower is also protecting my market area. Very good. Barracks is doing a good job. Yeah, I got him. Got another one. Yeah, no survivors. No survivors. Perfect. All right. 
Alright, the food situation could be bad. We got a bajillion carcasses in store, so these guys just need to butcher it. I really wish they would make the hunter cabins to be able to have two people. Or like a designated butcherer. Like, have a, a butcher shop that I could build where they can take all the carcass. 19 came, 17 killed. They took nothing, destroyed nothing. So far, I am definitely winning. Oh my god, please, for the love of god, get rid of these things. Go away. I got really good taxes coming in, and I'm not having to spend a lot on defenses. So, very good. We're killing too many wolves. Um, I gotta pull one of these guys back because he's triggering too many. The equilibrium's thrown off. I think that's good right there. This is this is the annoying thing that happens where I have so many carcasses, but they're not butchering because they're out there gathering more carcasses. Alright, that should take care of that. And people die, they die. They'll come back. They always come back. Doesn't look like it's working. But it looks pretty, I guess. It's actually not a bad idea. Spruces. Now spruces look ugly. Junipers, though. There we go. Some junipers up there. Gotta get that. Gotta tame this barren waste. Can you guys please butcher? These freaking wolves. Alright. They have they have forced me. They have forced my hand. I'm gonna have to get another um hunter cabin. Gotta get another hunter cabin up there to process that meat. There's so much meat they can't process it. Alright, cool. Some nice trees now. Nice. Alright, I got a lot of weeds. Um, let's take care of the weed situation. We're gonna do my little patented uh, fake out here. Weeds, clovers, peas. This will always get the fertility up and it will give us some food. Um, which we desperately, desperately need. Alright, people are starving to death now. So this is not cool. I'm wanting to be... I broke my farm, all right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I mean... Oh my god. I don't know if I could build something here. Uh, do I have a trader? I could potentially buy some food. That was silly. I, I probably should have bought some food to save those guys. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really... I'm like losing my mind here with, with, with these guys. They're finally cutting, cutting up meat, but... There we go. Finally, food. Just a cup, you know, massive starvation. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I broke. I, I did too many things at once. I did too many things at once. This is actually the first time I've screwed up that bad in a long time. Um, let's put compost on that. I don't, I don't care. I'll get them all back. That's the thing about this game, like... They'll, they'll come back. 
they got nowhere else to go. I got, and I actually had an excess of people, so I'm not even, I'm not even hurting. The only thing that pisses me off is I'm gonna have to build a bigger graveyard, a much bigger, much bigger graveyard. That should do it. Freaking farm is all off kilter again, and I don't know what's going on here. Gotta bring these guys back. They're going out too far out. Great. The farm is the farm is broken again now. I broke the farm. One of you is this guy. Oh my god, I can't find him. There we go. Alright, go hunt the deer. <laughs> oh my lord. That was that was funny. It all started because I ran a dude out in the middle of the woods and pulled 20 freaking wolves. Oh my god. I should have... I, I should have had one farm going as a precaution. I swear to God, if you guys don't start cutting meat, I'm going to lose my mind. This is kind of like a bit of a bug. Like, it's really stupid. Like, there's tons of food, but they're, they're so, they're so busy picking up carcasses, which they don't need that they, um, every time they go out, they get more wolves. This is a nightmare. There's only one solution to this, too. More. <laughs> more hunter cabins. You know what? Screw it. If they want to play. These wolves want to play. I'll play. Let's build two more. I'll go. I'll go the full distance here. All right, we're gonna have a little bit more death. Not that I can't handle. For the love of God, butcher some meat, please. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's, uh, let's try to buy some food. While we fix, while we fix everything going on here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for selling me your cheap fish. I will take them. I will take almost all of it. It's been a rough year. <laughs> it's been a rough year for us. I'll even trade my gold ore for your fish. Just give me the fish. Alright. We're gonna buy all we're gonna buy all these fish while we we fix the issue. Alright. We didn't lose too many people. Man, I hate when this thing breaks like that. Alright. Oh my gosh, do you see all those people that almost died? Oh man, a couple of them went. 
But the other is like five or six people that were on the brink right there. Alright, we're at a fish. Alright, you got any more fish? <laughs> I mean, I just, I'm gonna be, oh man, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna be spending all my money on fish. We'll trade wood, man. We'll trade whatever. Just need to keep buying this fish. We've almost got our wolf farm fixed. Alright. Alright, are you guys finally butchering now? Please. Please butcher. Okay. They're finally butchering meat. It's a miracle. Oh, thank God. Finally. Alright, day, the day is saved. We'll get those 40 villagers back like nothing. Like I said, the only thing I'm pissed off about is the fact that I gotta, I gotta bury all those dang guys. Stop aggroing the wolves, please. Cut the mate. <laughs> I have a ridiculous army of hunters now, though. It's kind of fun. All right. We've uh, officially unscrewed ourselves, finally. That's what makes this map hard, though. It's like, it's pretty, it is pretty bare. There's very few resources. I should have had these guys gathering. There you go. Gather those berries. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be impacting it, but it does look it does look nice. <laughs> it's kind of insane how many hunters I have. But here we go, finally. Butcher and meat. What's actually kind of cool about this is I I technically can have them hunt the hunt the deer over here, um, and they'll still come up and pick up carcasses because they're right next to it. We'll do the peas here too. All right. Ooh, man. That was honestly terrifying. I'm going to start expanding this field next to 6 by 12. That's what I like about this expansion method. Is you don't have to wait. You don't have to build a giant field. You can build a little bit at a time so that you're growing while you're expanding. Get that going next to Alright, I think I have enough freaking hunters now that it's gonna they're gonna start actually cutting meat. That might be the trick, and it might be worth it to have one or two extra hunters so that it if you get a bunch of hides or a bunch of wolf pelts that it doesn't break the chain. Because only one will go out to gather. So if you only have three dudes, they're gonna keep leaving. So you Kind of need redundancy in the design, I guess, to make it work better. There we go. I think I fixed it, though. We only lost 40 people to starvation. Oh, okay. We got to we gotta see that for sure. That's pretty funny. 20... <laughs> Other? No, we lost 30... 30 and then 30... 
Wow, we lost. We lost 70 people? No, that doesn't, that, that doesn't add up. We lost like 30, 35. That makes more sense. Yeah. 35 makes a lot more sense because we know we, we lost 70. Alright, cool. Food is flowing in now. Nice. We got beans. Okay. What a relief. That was crazy. Now we're now we're set though. Yeah, it's I I got way too ahead of myself. I should have been a lot more cautious, but I get impatient and I just want to get stuff done. And I'm not really afraid of setbacks like that because I'm gonna come back from it pretty pretty fast. So I can tell you this though, I wanna grow a little bit more trees out here. Probably. Probably gonna put another labor camp right here. And I probably shouldn't cross them. Hmm. closer I am to the people, the faster. I don't know. I think I can cross it and it'll be fine. As long as I don't build any trees right here, then they won't be picking up each other's. Alright, this is going to cost me a pretty penny, though. And I know I just deleted a tree that was there, but I just don't care. I'm just uh, I'm going to pause the game. It's a lot easier to lay stuff down. That should keep him busy. I got plenty of food now, though. I'm really... Protein. Yeah, the meat's starting to spoil, so let's go ahead and get another smokehouse up. Our Billy's about 30. Cool. Yeah, we're sitting pretty now. This guy's full of meat. Yeah, we need uh we need more places to bring it, so another smokehouse should uh be a pretty good move. I mean, the taxes we're bringing in from this upgraded market are insane. That... Alright, we're losing people to old age and disease. Not heavily, though, so... I think we're sitting okay. Once this gets up, we'll get clothing coming in. They want luxury goods. We need, yeah, we need people now to expand our industry. But we're in a good equilibrium, like I said. Got a ton of freaking hunters, so.
Man, we got so much weeds over here. That's not cool. Probably what I need to do is one year I do two weed removals. Alright, yeah, we fixed it. You just just have a ton of hunters so that if like I said the redundancy issue happens, you can just do that. All right, we need to buy shirts, I think, um, to get the happiness back up and our productivity. So I'm gonna try to buy some shirts. Even if it's just a few shirts. Also, yeah, let's transfer gold over and let's buy shirts. See Daisy. one of the main things bringing our happiness down which is going to impact our immigration rate so I, th I think if i just buy everybody's shirts they'll be happy again perfect and we'll buy a couple herbs with whatever we got left over all right cool yeah look at that now our happiness is way up We're not doing hot, though. Yeah, we got pelts. We can start. We can really start up in our cobblers and start selling shoes. That'd be a better one to sell our like shoes and stuff like that. Good one. Got lots of trade items. That's for sure. All right. I do think this is actually a good place to stop, but um, we're, we're in good shape. We find that we got our food situation squarely put away. Now we're going to focus on economics um, and the third Let's Play. I'm going to be working really hard on getting my work camps, forestry areas up to par. We're going to get a weaver up. We're going to start growing flax on this field. Um, probably going to start growing grain and flour, um, but we're going to alternate how we do that. Right now we need to build a fertility, so we might be just a bit of a ways off from that. Luckily we do have this awesome wolf uh, farm here, so things are looking pretty good for us. All right, thank you all for watching.